How to cut acrylic with a junior hacksaw. Junior hacksaw is made up of a handle, this will be known as the frame, and then we have our blade here. The blade has really small teeth on it, used for cutting harder material. So this is used for cutting hard material like plastics and steel. The teeth are really small and they face forward. So as we're cutting, the teeth are facing this way forward, so as we're cutting, stroking forward, it's cutting the material going forward. So when we're cutting, uh, removing material, we always be, have to be working from a line. So we have three lines there, we just cut on this line here. Right? Also when we're cutting, we for uh, this line here, we always cut away from the line. The filing then will file it down to the line. So a lot of people think they have to cut on the line. Don't cut on the line because if you go off, uh, there's not much margin of error. If you go off a little bit, you're cutting into the, your material that you want to keep. Okay? Another tip we do when we're cutting and removing material, the other thing that we're removing, we put X's to indicate what we're, we're, we are removing, or as I call it, kisses the body. Just removing. So that indicates, marked out, that we're removing that piece. So to start off, this is a quite thick piece of material, well not thick but a long piece of material. So if I place that in the vise and started cutting it, what tends to happen is it's quite high but it's quite thin so there's not a lot of support on it. So we all get into the habit of placing it low in the vise to start off. So that would mean that it's way more supported, it's going to be a lot easier cut. So to approach this, as I explained in the previous video, uh, when we're using tools to certain techniques, uh, this technique is quite like the filing technique. So have a look at that video if you're not too sure about the stance. So we're in our boxing stance, or our surfboard stance, or we're approaching uh, the material this way. So it's a one-handed tool, so it only needs one hand. So don't have two hands on it, because what tends to happen with this, um, what students do, they put a lot of pressure on it, and if you notice them teeth, if you put more pressure, if I was clawing this here, if I start scraping, do it lightly, I'm able to get through the material and scrape away the material. If I go harder and start scraping heavier, what tends to happen, my claws will start digging into the vise and I can't, or digging into the table and I can't move as much. So that's what happens when you're cutting as well. So to alleviate that, let the tool do the work. All you're doing is going back and forth as light as possible, trying to keep it straight. Um, the blade is this long, so utilize as much of the blade as you can, okay? Rather than just concentrating on one bit, use as much as you can. So another little tip is like when you're chopping something, you can put your knuckles or your nails forward. Um, I like to do that, I'm keeping away from the line and I just start it over here like this. The hardest thing is to start. So just go really light, go along and then just do a little stroke. Remember when I'm pushing forward, the forward stroke is going to cut. So I'm really light, cut forward. If I'm away from the line as I am here, a good bit, it won't matter too much. I'll file that to the line. So nice long strokes. You'll notice that I'm going from here to here. And I'm doing it nice and lightly, so it makes it a lot easier to cut. And I only use it one hand. Nice and long, nice and long, nice and long. So before I start cutting through the vise, I place it off, and then I'll move it up a little bit in the vise, and then I'll start cutting again. And you notice I'm actually going a little bit crooked there, but it doesn't matter because I have made a little bit of uh, excess there. I started outside the line so it won't be cutting into the line. And I just cut through. And move it up again. Nice long strokes. Cutting through. Now, when I'm near the end, what I can do is bring it out to the side of the bench like that, or I can twist it at a bit of an angle to get the last bit. So I'll just bring it out here a little bit and put it at a little bit of an angle. Now, I'm going to place my fingers just over there to give it more support and run through. 
and I cut through my shirt. As you can see, it's not fairly straight, but I'm away from the line all over, and then I can just place this in the vise and file it down to the line, and that will be it. So that's cutting with a hacksaw.